with with the amount of you know essays and, and policy briefs and the, all the array of, of uh, sort of coursework we have to hand in as well as exams you just have to be determined to sort of get through it get your head down um, and sort of use you know everything to at your disposal and, and even when you know you're being pulled every which way you know family commitments and friends and social life and maybe part-time job which I had during my last year um, sorry during my second year I, I think you know you have to sort of put your studies first using the vast array of uh, little journals books um, looking at interviews looking even at youtube is, is also a great source as well for some modules um and sort of just uh really just taking um my time with with looking at these these documents rather than just sort of cutting and pasting i think you know you really have to learn to analyze the material in front of you you have to learn to sort of um, take what people say and look at it in a critical manner um, and also you know not just look at you know follow the argument through because like these are theoretical debates that have been happening over you know a long period of time before you know we started to to look at them so we have to look, sort of chase the argument as it develops i've definitely learned to sort of take people's opinions and criticisms on, on board um I mean, you just have to be in the frame of mind to know that your lecturers and everyone or teaching assistants are just there to help you. And um, if they recommend sort of like anything sort of from um, how to reference or, or, you know, in terms of using how to develop footnotes and how to, you know, create your bibliography, to even down to, you know, sort of which direction to, to structure your essay in, it might, it might seem intrusive and you might, see, you might feel as though they're trying to tell you what to write, but it really is just a great help. One of my best modules was sort of uh, in the second year. It was called the International Politics of the Developing World. Um, it was headed up by Jeffrey Weber and uh, Clive Gabay. Um, and yeah, it was just amazing course. Um, it really covered sort of like uh, from from Africa to the Middle East um, and and beyond really. And it just really looked at sort of. Um, the ways in which we, we look at those nations and how they grow. I've learned to sort of see that um, the ways that politics or even just political rhetoric or the ways that we normally just see the developing world are really socially constructed. Um, they're all a manner of, of debate and um, how you see growth in, in those nations, how you see success and how you see um, detractors of, of success is all just sort of relative to how you're measuring it.